Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Bowman Draft Jumbo Edition. Eight box jumbo, pick your team number 10, which filled before eight and nine. Eight and nine were in some sort of team random. That didn't go, but this one sold out all by itself, straight up. So we're going to do it. John McCall, Last Spot Mojo Indians, and Blue Jays. Double Last Spot Mojo right there. Daniel, I think we sent you a message regarding the Astros. Someone in store had purchased the Astros. I don't know if you got that message or not. Purchased the Astros. So we, we unfortunately had to refund your spot on that. I know you picked up the Astros in this one. I apologize about that. But we did send you a message about an hour or so ago, I think. All right, let's open up this jumbo case. Good luck, everybody. This is going to take a little while. Over an hour. So kick back and relax. Yeah, Max, we should have, once we get rid of 8 and 9 off the site tomorrow, then we will uh, we will surely add, I think we've got a couple more to add. Alright, so there's all the boxes right there. I'm going to slide these over here. Almost like a, I wish I had some sort of spring-loaded, like, like a magazine, you know? And these would all be like, and they would just... Advance like a, a gun magazine. Advance the boxes to where I need them to be, right on camera. But alas, that technology is not available yet. Someday. All right. Kevin saying good luck to everybody. Les is here. Sparta, what's going on? Always around, just hanging around to fall asleep. Yeah, it's like it's like falling asleep to a. This is a great break to fall asleep to, actually. You got the you got the the crunchy pack opening, the rhythmic shifting of cards. Not too many train whistles to wake you up. But if there is a train whistle in draft, then you're gonna be like, oh, I better wake open my eyes for this. I haven't seen a super fracture yet. Buckeyes win 34-21. They are the Big Ten champions. Looks like Wisconsin still covers, I think, for. They were winning at one point. I thought that I thought we we're gonna see a little upset here. But then Ohio State was like, oh right, we're number one. Alright, see ya, Daniel. Sorry about that. And good luck to all he says. Alright. Just curl that over there. All right, good luck. Now, as you know by now, paper does not ship. None of the paper ships, but all of the chrome will ship. So all of this will ship. And obviously, numbered paper like this to 150, it'll ship. It'll ship. You're like, Joe, what do you do with the, what do you do with the paper base? They go to a good place. They go to, actually, some of you may know Mark Matheson. He's a teacher teacher and uh he uses these cards the base cards that we send him we'll donate them to his classroom and i don't know exactly what he uses them for but something to do with math and statistics and whatnot so he uses these baseball cards and there's some other organizations that that we donate them to there's jj goss to 499 so that's where they go we'll put them into the hands of kids that come into the shop earlier today handed a kid an empty we did a flawless break walked right out to the main floor gave the kid an empty flawless briefcase his eyes widened so i put all your treasures in there i said all right we got a nice speckle sparkle speckle jamari baylor 61 out of 71 there you go. Phillies, that's going to go to Daryl and the Phillies. And we'll do a quick autograph recap at the very end of this video. Ooh, yeah, Wayne, I, th I think you did say that, didn't you? I remember that. You almost nailed it. Wayne, earlier today, had, said, had asked us what we thought our score predictions were going to be for the Ohio State-Wisconsin game. And Wayne said... Uh, 30, 34-24. And the final ended up being 34-21. We'll just 
just breeze by this paper. I think you can get some good odds, Wayne. Some some offshore books may provide this. Uh, some good odds predicting the score. Like the exact score. I'm sure I think maybe some shops in Vegas may do it too, but I think some I think some places maybe not for every game, but some places you can find score prediction, which I think is awfully difficult, but could be pretty cool. All right, uh, we got Ryan Nelson. Ryan Nelson for Michael Tran and the Diamondbacks. First half had just did you did you have a financial interest in Ohio State? Did you make a make a small investment in them? Oh, it's an orange Cal Mitchell. Nineteen out of twenty five. Orange chrome. Thought that might have been the autograph spot. Nice one for the Pirates. We'll sleeve and top load all of those. Uh, that Matt Sims with the Pirates before they get sorted, of course. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by these. Cal Mitchells. You guys, you guys remember Kevin Mitchell? They're not related, are they? Uh, 112 out of 150. Matt Cantorino. Twins. With that one, Daryl with the Minnesota Twins. Pull up the. Uh, I actually like having the MLB draft class information up. For those of you who are in this break, or those of you who are just spectating, who are just watching, and want to look up some of these guys and be like, hey, what, what, what are these players about? You can go to MLB.com. The link is in the chat if you're watching live. And you can look those players up and be like, oh, that guy's this guy, and that guy's ranked here, and all sorts of things. Jumbo only has three autographs per box, so we found our three. Let's see if we can find any low number, lower numbers here. So I've not seen a Super Fractor yet. There's another Purple Chrome, Royce Lewis to 250. Cal Mitchell, probably not, right? No. Not related to Kevin Mitchell, which I think want to say I don't think Kevin Mitchell is with us anymore right I think he, he may have passed away really young I think he won it did he didn't he win an MVP too I'm sure he's an MVP winner in the late 80s maybe early 90s with the Giants Oh, no worries, Wayne. You were lagging. I should have should have bet on the Buckeyes, though. Johnson, you did not miss box one. Boom. Bam. Twins. Diamondbacks. Phillies. There you go. Insta recap. And for the rest of you, there will be a full recap at the end of the video. Although, Jonathan, Kent, I don't think you're in this one. This is Pick Your Team 10, which sold out before Pick Your Team 8 and 9. So all the spots sold out straight up. Okay, Kevin Mitchell is alive and kicking, says Jonathan. And who am I thinking of? Like, there's a player from that era. It's not Tony Gwynn. Not, like, someone from that era who passed away, like, way too, way too early. I am thinking of someone else. It's not Tony Gwynn. He passed too, way too soon as well. All right. Yes. AM edits. Kirby Puckett. <laughs> That's right. K. Outfielder. Stocky. 
Kirby Puckett, who's I was thinking of, he passed too soon. Thank you. Bragging rights radio edits for reading my mind or translating what I was trying to say. It's been a long week, AM edits. Yeah, Kirby Puckett. Gone too soon. 383 out of 499, Zach Thompson. Yeah, Jeremy Anderson. Good old Kirby Puckett. Kids out there, look up Kirby Puckett highlights on the on the YouTube. And Shay Lang Lears out of 250 class of 2019 autograph for John and the Bravos. There you go, Braves. Oh, you should be in Pick Your Team 10? I don't see your name in here. You might you might be thinking Pick Your Team 8 or 9. Because I'm blind, Jonathan Kent. You're right in between Joe Howard and Eric Ange. You got the Reds. I see. You're good. You're good. And I, yeah, I, mean, I see you with the Red Sox or all the other breaks, too. No Red Sox yet. Oh, nice. Jeremy Anderson saying he, uh, Kirby Puckett, owned some land over by him when he was growing up, and he was a good dude. Well, what, what was it? Not to be morbid, but the cancer, maybe? 29 out of 50. I wonder, if he ha I wonder if he has any kids. No, Tony Gwynn obviously had a couple kids who, who played ball. Chris Gwynn and I think Tony Gwynn Jr. Kyle Stowers to 250. Tony Gwynn Jr. did, uh, or Anthony as he often liked to be called. Tony Gwynn Jr. used to play with the Dodgers for, for a little bit. He played for a lot of teams. He played for the Dodgers for a little bit. And then did uh, did like post game Dodger talk. He did some radio work for the Dodgers for a couple of years before he went down to San Diego to do I think maybe TV or radio for uh, for San Diego. But I'll have to tell you what it is a trip because oh of a stroke for Puckett shame. Um, but it's a trip because if anybody who's in the Southern Cal like San Diego area or something like that. Um, if uh, if you listen to Tony Gwynn Jr. on like post game radio, he sounds just like his dad. He's just got like a younger vocabulary, you know what I mean? But like in the the rhythm of his voice and the 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 timbre, the tone of his voice, the sound of his voice sounds like a young Tony Gwynn. And you're like, wait, <laughs> you're like, was that? Because Tony Gwynn kind of has a has a very distinctive voice. If you remember Tony Gwynn and what he sounded like. There's Aaron Schnunk, Schunk right there. That'll be for Josh Pruce and the Rockies. Dennis Martinez, Daniel Denny Martinez. Hit him in the face. Kirby Puckin was down and off to that apparently. Doing trophy ceremony for Ohio State. Are they are they winning the whole thing, ladies and gentlemen? Is Ohio State winning it all? Man, the confetti company's making a killing the next couple months. There's Brandon Williamson for the Mariners. Tyler Stumpf with the M's. 
Tank says Ohio State's going to win it all. Um, so who are the, cause this is it for the, for the regular season, right? For college football. So who are the four, right? Who are the four that are going to be in the, in the playoffs? It's Christian Robinson to 499. All right, next box. Chugging along here. Hi, Joe. Not yet. Not in this break. I think the last Rushman we got was maybe, a, maybe three or four breaks ago. I don't remember if that's out of Jumbo or a, or a Super Jumbo, but... I think it's been a couple days, I think. All right, maybe Thursday we pulled a rush one. All right, so TJ Leonard and Patrick K saying OSU, or yeah, Ohio State University, LSU, Clemson, Oklahoma. Ohio, okay. I think we're due. Joe, I see you with the O's. I hope so. Yeah, remember, I'm 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 a I'm a novice. I know my football. I know my baseball. I know my soccer or Premier League soccer. You know, we're pretty okay at basketball. College sports, I I'm, I just lack lack a lot of knowledge, but uh, that's why I'm gonna lean on you guys through the bowl season. Jonathan Kent hopes that Clemson will win it all. Oh, right. Andrew's right. Yeah, Blue Wave Adley, but I was out of Super Jumbo. I think it's been a minute or two in these Jumbos, though. But we did pull one out of the Super. That seemed like ages ago, Andrew. <laughs> seemed like last week. All right, we got Moises Gomez, 18 out of 25, orange paper. Michael Blunt's hoping LSU. TJ Leonard says it's going to be hard to beat LSU. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies and gentlemen, but isn't the coach of LSU Ed Ogeron, who was a former coach for USC? And I'm not a USC man. I'm a UCLA. Well, I went to a UC, so I... UC San Diego, so I default to being a UCLA guy, I guess, for sports. Um, but Ed Ogeron was at USC, right? Now USC's went through all these drama and stuff like that. Right, Ogeron was a fill-in head coach for USC, and now they were looking for a head coach. Ah, all right, so now, or actually they kept the head guy. So now it's a whole mess at USC. It's Logan Driscoll. That's for the Padres. That's going to go to Ken Goldberg. Right, did not get offered the head coaching position after his interim, and Helton got it. That's crazy. They're keeping. They're keeping Clay Helton. They're keeping Clay Helton, right? I thought I thought the buzz around town was that he was he was Dunzo's. Unfortunately, says Shawnee Stan. Michael Blunt hoping that that LSU quarterback, Joe Burrow, right? Burrows or Burrow? Singular? Plural? 
And then he hopes that his Bucks pick him up. Well, all I know is that a lot of quarterbacks should be in the draft this year, and that's hashtag good for the hobby. I know it's a baseball break, folks, but it's a long break, so we're going to bounce around different topics. Will Wilson, 15th overall pick for the Halos. That's going to go to Daryl. There's J.J. Bladé to 250, purple paper for the Marlins, big big name for the Marlins. Burrow, yeah, I saw that jersey. Michael Blunt, that was a good touch. Coach from Memphis getting announced as Florida State coach tomorrow. Wasn't wasn't Neon Dion in the mix for a little bit, or was that just bluster? Sean thinks it might still be Dion, see? So are there are those credible rumors? Paper. Michael Madden saying it's gonna be great if they all go into the draft. Yeah, it'll be it'd be good for business. Michael Madden. Hashtag good for the hobby. I root for, I root for every all the rookies in each draft class every year. And we got Gold Grant Gambrel to 50 for the Royals. That'll be for Aaron. I'm breezing through all this paper right here. Ooh. Ooh. Is that red or blood orange? The colors are very similar this year. Oh! It's red. We got TJ Sikama. Uh, take two. Oh. <laughs> take three. Oh. Look at this. Five out of five TJ Sikama for the Bronx Bombers. Mary with the Yankees. And Mary, as you know, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. That is your 38th overall pick. Looks like a compensatory pick between the first and second rounds. Right there. So there you go. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. There you go. Inching closer and closer to a Super Fractor autograph, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't seen one of those yet. That's our first red auto. There's Brandon Lewis to 499 for my Dodgers. He's got my Dodgers in this break. Chen does. Jahi Chen. All right, next box. It's our fourth box right here. After this, we'll be halfway through the break. So here's Sean's theory about the FSU, Florida State, coaching search. He thinks that Deion Sun commits to Florida State, and then Deion Sanders gets announced as the new head coach. Do you, do you think... Now, Deion Sun is a quarterback, is it not? Is he not? Do you think that Florida State would give Deion Sanders that kind of power? Yes, this is 10, Josh. No A's so far. Because that's kind of a lot of power, right? If you get the head coach and the quarterback. Jeremy's saying, I would never play for my dad. I 
Yes, Jeremy. He'll have the next two days on the main channel. And I'll be back on Tuesday. All right, next one. Michael Blunt says, Dion as a head coach, just a trainer. <laughs> Probably. No, eight and nine will happen tomorrow, Sean. Are those even sold out? Oh, that team random sold out. Too late, unfortunately. Yeah, both will be tomorrow. It was too late. Prism got Prism basketball got close, and that's unfortunately too late for that because this filled and then XR filled after that, and that gobbled up our time. Oh, Michael Bush! There are the Dodgers. There it is, Michael Bush. Late, I think he was a compensatory pick too in between the first, I guess still technically first round, but 31st overall. There you go, Chen. Michael Blunt saying, oh, yeah, I, someone, I think Brian O mentioned that earlier. That uh, Lane Kiffin was hired by Old Miss. That could be interesting. <laughs> Extra innings, Josh Plemons? I mean, maybe if you were ripping packs for me. If you were here helping me out there, maybe. I don't know. Earlier in the week, you can ask me for extra innings. I'll, I'll probably do it. Now I'm at the end of my week. It's like it's like your boss coming in on Friday. At the end of the day, there is Isaiah Gilliam to 150, and there's an autograph Davis Wenzel for the Rangers. EA for the Rangers. It's like your boss coming in on late Friday, last hour of the workday on Friday, and be like, "Hey, you want to work a couple more hours?" And I'd probably be like, "Yeah." Yeah, oh, and Jeremy Anderson, yeah, I was gone on Tuesday because I was on the DL. I was sick. I had a little bit of a cold. The cold part wasn't as severe, but what did get me was the golden voice. This, there, there was a really bad sore throat. And it was, uh, it was quite painful. And so I, I said, I have to save this for a big new release day on Wednesday, which was why I was out on Tuesday. So, And the extra sort of, I kind of slept it off, you know. It worked out, a lot of working out, sweat, sweat it all out, and then a lot of sleep, a lot of tea. And that got me, it's still a little, a little raw, but... But yeah, it was pretty bad earlier in the week, so opted for the day off, and then I wanted to come in 100%, go on to come in strong for, for new release day on Wednesday. It was super busy on Wednesday. There's Traven Fletcher, 250 for the Cardinals. That's right, John Samuels, it'd be like office space. Yeah, I'm going to have to... And what about this guy? This guy not gonna not gonna work here anymore. <laughs> Classic. And then that guy ended up being in Band of Brothers and Sex in the City. Noah Song, 
What song is he singing? 230 out of 499. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, I'm feeling better, though. Jeremy Anderson's wifey is sick. Yeah, it's ass. It's that time of year. All right, that goes to the Red Sox. That is for Jonathan Kent. Got the Red Sox in a bunch of our breaks. Oh, Michael, well, you don't have to stay awake for that on the account of that X heartbreak. <laughs> I know everyone likes watching it live, but I try to make the, the videos as fun as possible so it seems like you're watching live, that you're right there. But yeah, I should have this done. Well, we're halfway through the break. We're at the 30-minute mark, so looks like another 30 minutes. Maybe, it's, maybe I'll finish this sooner than I thought. But that should bring us to, what time is it? About 20 minutes. That should bring us to maybe by the time I print out all the labels, put all the stuff away, maybe at the 50-minute mark. This, this break will be done wherever you are in the world. 50 minute mark and then the XR is uh, like a 15 minute break. So that takes like no time at all. So Jazz be dedication, Michael Blunt. I love it. Good to see you, Michael, by the way. I don't think I've seen your name come across our desk in a little bit. So appreciate that. Jonathan, can you tell us about Noah's song? What's, what's, what's his story? What's he all about? What do we need to know about him? Is he, I don't know, fourth round pick, but striving to become the third U.S. Naval Academy product to pitch in the big leagues. So there'd be some more, but I guess not. All right, next box. Good luck. We are we are breezing through these breaks right here. The jumbo actually is not is not bad at all. I think they, Nick was telling me, I'm, I think they did away with the hobby edition of this, at least for draft. I think regular Bowman baseball, they still have hobby. But for Bowman draft, I think they did away with the hobby edition. And those, it's those hobby editions that just takes, takes forever. The jumbo editions are nice. There's a lot of parallels, like that one. A lot of fun inserts. Three autographs, so it keeps, keeps you kind of interested in each box. Kind of keeps people's attention. And we got Tyler Callahan, gold chrome, 48 out of 50 for Daryl and the Reds. Tyler Callahan. That's what he's all about. Yeah, it's super dedicated to the Navy. Jonathan Kent saying Noah's song. Boss man was a Navy man. Callahan break parts. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember that reference. Is that a Tommy boy? I haven't seen that in ages. Um, I think of Dirty Harry. Harry Callahan. Got Bryce Turing. These are not numbered, by the way, but those kind of sky blue chromes, but they, of course, will ship. And we, it's a little different right there. Franchise Futures Green. There it is. There's the numbered right in the middle. 67 out of 99. Adley Rushman and Gunnar Henderson. Orioles. Orioles, I feel like, they're one of those old baseball institutions where you want to see, I mean, I don't know, as a neutral fan growing up on the West Coast, 
right? The Orioles were to me like one of those classic old school baseball teams. Uh, if you had a bird on there, I, was, I didn't grow up with a bird on my hats. You know what I mean? We just had two letters. You know, they had the, the white panel up front. And I was like, I've never seen a hat with a white panel on there. No one does that. They've got a they've got a lot of work to do, but they've got a deep history. They gotta we gotta make the Orioles great again, right? What needs to happen here? Some people will point to ownership. Ownership. You know, maybe not hiring the right guys. Wait, who's was Noah Song born in Pomona? You actually Claremont. Huh. Jonathan Kent, you know where I grew up? After I was after my folks left and left left high school or left uh, Ohio when I was a wee lad, we moved to Southern California. We moved to Claremont. California. We later moved to to Upland. I went to Upland High. Um, but Claremont High School is where my cousins went. They grew up in Claremont, the next town over. And they, uh, my, my cousins were good baseball players. They, I think they played varsity. My cousin Dave, the older cousin, was pretty good. Um, out of 250, there's Matthew Lugo. I think he started in high school. Yeah, no worries. Sorry, uh, Josh, that's for you. Logan, it's for you. Got distracted by the local boy. But the Claremont Wolf Pack. Pretty, pretty, good, uh, pretty good baseball school in that area. All right, well, now I like Noah's song, Jonathan Ken, because I... Can, Grew up in the town next next over to him. I'll be rooting for that guy. Rooting for the old lo local boy comes good. Um, Joe Howard saying it would help not being in the same division they're in with New York and Boston. Well, now 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 Toronto, but I don't know Boston. I mean they they got they got the wins. Do they kind of scare you though? They've got some. They got J D Martinez and Chris Sale. That's going to block a lot of their ability to sign guys. You know, it's Eric Yang for the Reds. What do you think happens to Adley? Oh, well, I'm hoping, hashtag good for the hobby tanks. I hope that he does well. From what little I've read, like on fan graphs and short Baseball America, you know, articles, I think he's as close to can't miss without saying can't miss, right? Oh, that's paper right there to 499, Eric Rivera. And we've got George Kirby. For the M's, Tyler Stumpf and the Mariners. But I don't know, college catcher. I saw a little bit of a lot of a little bit of him on, on TV, college baseball. And he, he's pretty good. Switch hitter, I think, which is kind of unique. You got to think that they would m probably move him if 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 he's as advertised as a hitter. You got to move him off of catcher after a handful of years, right? Move him to first base or something like that, first or third, depending on his arm strength. I mean, unless he's just like, I want to be the next Buster Posey. I want to be the next, you know, Joe Maurer or something like that. They have huge budgets, sure, Joe Howard, but not unlimited budgets, right? I, I think, I mean, with J.D. Martinez opting in for the Red Sox, some Red Sox people are saying that they're not going to be able to re-sign Mookie Betts. That's a big deal. And I don't think I don't consider Baltimore a small market team, though. Do you? 
Like, they've been known to spend a little bit of money. They're not scared. I mean, they gave Chris Davis money. You know, like, they're not afraid to spend money. I think they could spend. Not, not freewheeling, but, but it's not like they're the Tampa Bay Rays. What is it? What was their payroll? Is it? They gotta be like middle of the pack. Payroll wise, right? Maybe, maybe above average. Or maybe not with, not after maybe moving a lot of guys out, but I think in their, I don't know. But I think there's hope for the Orioles. If Rushman is as advertised, and, and they, they draft well the next couple years or so, they might have some guys coming up the ranks together. That could be a decent core of players there. You know, do we like Mancini, Austin Hayes, some solid guys? Got to work on that pitching staff, but you know, maybe trade a couple assets here and there. They could be in a position like. If the Astros were, the Cubs were, put it all together. What the Blue Jays are trying to be, what the White Sox are trying to be, what the Braves, Phillies are trying to be. Bet's a White Sox, I hope, says Jeremy Anderson. I think Bet's still... Someone would have to make a trade this year, right, to get bets. There's Matt Mercer to 99. And then I think he has another year. And then he's a free agent, right? He's got 2020 and then 2021 and then free agent. So everyone's arguing, hey, maybe the value is now before he ends up in a walk here. There's Chase Strumpf. Not to be confused with Tyler Stumpf, who has the Mariners. Chase Strumpf goes to EA and the Cubs. Possible relations, Eric. 274 out of 499, Chase and Tyler. Uh, well, yeah, Orioles are going to be bad this season, though. But the good news is that Rushman is out of college. Ohio State, I, or, or Oregon State, I think, home of the Beavers. And I think they'll, uh, he should be, you know, barring injury. And if he just makes just solid progress year to year, I mean, that's got to be two or three years before he's up. Is Eric Yang again to 250, purple paper this time. White Sox could be an interesting team too, right? White Sox. Let's look at their roster really quick on MLB.com. White Sox. Still have Jose Abreu, still effective, I think. I kind of like Lurie Garcia. He's a hitter. Tim Anderson. Had a nice season. All right? Yoan Mankata at third base. Eloy Jimenez out there in the outfield. Giolito lo looks like he's the prospect that the Nationals hoped that he would be. Reynaldo Lopez. And who, I mean, you got to get Carson Fulmer and maybe Carlos Rodon back. Out of 150, Andrew Schultz. If they make a, you know, they could make a few trades, a few moves here and there. But that's actually a decent pitching staff. They signed Yasmani Grandal, Michael Madden. So they've got a, a veteran catcher there who can hit. Maybe shift over to DH if they want to give him a break. There's Nassim Nunez. Yeah, Kevin Schaeffler saying, I think I butchered your last name. Kevin thinks that I think the Whites are a team to watch this coming season. What's up, Jose? What's going on, man? That's for the Marlins. That'll be for James. James Whitmer with that one. 
Uh, saw the live feed earlier. A lot going on. Yeah, we had National Hobby Shop Day today, which was a smashing success. A lot of people. I think Nick said there were about 100 people throughout the day that walked through the doors of Jaspies. We gave away a lot of stuff, raffled a bunch of stuff. Kids were buying boxes, and we had some we had some regulars come in. Trendsetter, Euro in the chat came in. Sean Corbett came in and hung out. Saw John McCall here. So we put some faces to names. So that was really awesome. So uh, I think we are posting more drafts, Jonathan. I don't know when. I think we do have a few more cases after, or we're going to get, or have a few more cases after ten, which is the la which is, this is the last one. We still have eight and nine on the site. There's Zach Thompson for the Cardinals. But. We will. I think we'll have more. Anyway, I like the White Sox prospects. Logan says Vlad hits 50 homers next year. Vinny, you went to Rory's shop, Brewtown Trading Co. in Milwaukee, and you got a donut. Was it a good donut? I mean, here we gave, we gave away gift bags, raffled off a Giannis Antetokounmpo autographed basketball. I don't know who won that, but someone did. Um... A Kyler Murray autograph jersey, a Shaquille O'Neal autograph Lakers jersey. We had a there was a free raffle we had. We gave away like a a big mountain of top loaders and supplies and all that stuff to supply up some people. Selling selling boxes. We've got a we've got a cool refrigerator over there, Vinny. I would have offered you a refreshing a refreshing mini Gatorade. Matt Gorski, pi, uh, Pirates, Matthew Sims. We had a card bar, had some college football going on in the television. Kids trying to play the stacker game. Got a got a lot of ones from that stacker game. We thought we were going to a an an an, an adult establishment. With, with special dancing. All right. We had pizza. Oh, if we could, Vinny, I don't know if you're a pizza guy. Who's not, right? I, mean, I don't know. Some people are. Uh, pizza guy. We, we, we ordered pizza from Mickey's Deli, a longtime Hermosa Beach establishment here. Delicious, delicious Italian style pizza. We served those. That's for, those were served for free. I think they were for free. I don't know. I got a slice for free. Got all sorts of things. Ooh. Logo, are you a diehard pinball player? You know that uh, that Curtis from Canada, from Calgary, who come, pops in every once in a while in the chat? He's a big pinball player lover. You can talk to him about, about the ones and twos. I don't know if they call them the ones and twos. That's what they call turntables. But, uh... I'm just assuming the lefts and rights. He'll talk to you about, about that. Pinball machine not getting love though, Logan. I think a couple, only a couple kids played that today. A lot of kids played the stacker machine today though. I guess pinball machine doesn't have prizes attached to it, so maybe that's why. But it's the uh, Avengers pinball machine if you're familiar with that. You're number one on the Lord of the Rings pinball at your bowling. We also haven't figured out a way to put, put names on the high score. I don't, know to do I don't know how to put names in there yet. Let me get the instruction manual. What's in the stacker at your shop? Boxing 
Illusions football as a major prize. Major prizes, Donner's Optic Basketball, Luka Doncic, Trey Young Edition, Bowman Chrome Baseball, Gold Standard Football. Some kid won a Bowman Chrome box the other day, last week, one of, our, one of the regulars here. That was pretty awesome. There's Matthew Thompson to 250, Purple Chrome. So we've got some, we've got some good prizes. We're not putting BS in there. I'm not putting BS in there. Your minor prizes are like top loaders. So. But the major prizes are certainly worth it. But yeah, one kid won like 2018 Bowman Chrome. Uh, I think last last week or something like that. They were in today too. But I was, it was amazing. We couldn't believe it. We were just like, wow. What's the payout? It's a dollar dollar per play, if that's what you're asking. I think it's a dollar per play. There's another card behind there. That's White Sox. Matthew Thompson. That will be for Francesco and the White Sox. Nice. Oh, oh, they're set to hit after so many. We're not going to tell you that. It's competitive to the industry standard. Should I tell you how much has been put in and then tell you the odds and tell you when to come in? There's Nick Quintana at 99. Tyler, we're five bucks away. It's tuned to industry standard. We'll just put it that way. And I actually have no idea. I didn't set it. <laughs> Ask Nick next time you see him. Uh, he probably won't tell you either, but. Well, all I know is that some that 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 the uh, one of our regulars, his his son came in, and maybe popped in four or five bucks, and then next thing you know, ding ding ding, you know, he's walking away with a Bowman Chrome baseball box, which is awesome. We were just like, oh, all right, pretty. That was pretty awesome. We just think that we didn't. I mean, we put those in there obviously because we want to give those away, but we were just surprised at the skill level, like how quickly it happened. But that's good because then maybe the, uh, there's Antoine Kelly, blue for the Brewers, John Alfie's, tells his friends, tells the neighborhood, hey. <laughs> Jaspi Stacker, soft. 71 out of 150, Antoine Kelly. Second rounder for John and the Brew Crew. Uh, I don't know. Each of those boxes have to be at least a hundred bucks, right? Illusions might be a little under, maybe. Bowman Chrome's got to be like seventy-five, eighty bucks, right? Gold standard, almost ninety dollars, maybe. Donruss Optic basketball, that's got to be a hundred bucks. I don't know. I don't. I don't know box prices very well. There's Drew Waters. Looking for one more autograph, and then, believe it or not, folks, we are done. And a quick break of XR football, and then we're calling it a night. Jose is saying, Jose, you gotta come. You gotta come visit. Play the stacker. You play stacker at the movie theater when we're waiting for a movie to start. It's not easy. What can you win at the movie theater? What's the major prize there? The prize is on top. We got Julio Pablo Martinez to 150, blue paper for the Rangers. And there's TJ Sigma right here. 
Yankees, another one for Mary. You got the out of five. Now you got the base auto. Maybe, maybe find the one of one. It's rainbow time. Start a rainbow. And that's your third and final autograph, folks. We may, oh no, we st actually, we still have one more left. My bad. One more box left. I was like, like the, I was looking at the, the time and I was like, that's, it just feels like it's too early. And I was right. We have one box left. You believe the last time you played it, it was an iPad and Beats headphones. Nice. And we'll, again, we'll do a quick autograph recap after this final box. No more, right? Okay. One more box. Three more autographs. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Lord knows how much, how much, if I, I don't want to, if I counted how much money I've put into stacker machines over the years. I don't know if I want to do that. Can you imagine? I don't want to. I don't want to look up that number. I might not like that number. I'm a casual stacker. It's like Vegas. Yeah, I don't know how many how many people who go to Vegas are keeping that close of an eye on their money. I'm not. I'm not a professional gambler. I don't think I'll be anytime soon. Uh, we started two o'clock Pacific, seven days a week. Jonathan Kent, two two Pacific, five Eastern. Jason should start around that time, and I think one of the first breaks of the day should be uh, one of the first breaks of the day should be the jumbos, eight and nine. I think. What's the most expensive card? Funny you shouldn't ask that, Tyler Chase. The most expensive card we ever pulled was just earlier this week. When we pulled from the Cup Hockey, Connor McDavid, rookie patch autograph, jersey number, that'll go for $100,000. Maybe more. Not too many cards that you can pull currently that will pull that kind of price. You would think it seems crazy, but hockey fans are, 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 are just passionate collectors. Yeah, the, that, night, that night, Jonathan Kent, when Jason pulled that Connor McDavid, we, got, we were literally getting phone calls and DMs on our social media Phone call is saying, hey, I'll, I'll give this guy $70,000 right now. I'll give this guy $50,000 right now. I'll give this guy 80, like hundreds of calls. Like actual offers. The next day, phone is ringing off the hook. Is Adley Rushman purple paper to 250. So we, we, we made an arrangement to... Uh, to get it to Leland's Auctions, who since they're going to be promoting us, we should promote them. Leland's Auctions, keep that in mind. Leland's Auctions will be uh, coordinating the auctioning of that card. I think they're going to really do it up too. One forty-four out of two fifty, purple chrome Jared Triolo. I don't think we're taking a cut either. I think we were just like, just give us the publicity, which is what I would want to. Yeah, but um, Boss Man has, has had, a, had a good relationship with Leland's Auctions. They do a lot of sports. I don't know if some of you are familiar with them, but they're good dudes. I think Boss Man has, has a good relationship with the guy who runs the auction house. And they're pretty, um, they're on the up, you know, they're good. I think I've met the guy too previous years, but I mean, we're always sending, sending people their way, so I think they're always happy about that. They're good people. Um, 
It was uh, Monday night, I want to say. Monday or Tuesday night of this week, Tyler. And it was um, in the hat trick break. I think it's called the cup hat trick break or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. I don't, a lot of color. We got that out of five, but I don't see... Not really any of the big names, right? I don't think we've got anyone above the top, above the top ten here. Yeah. I think the highest pick we got was maybe Will Wilson. Right, Tuesday night, because I was out on Tuesday night. So there you go. Yeah, Tuesday night. Out of 150, Matthew Thompson. Otherwise, I would have pulled it, right? Well, I'm glad Jason pulled it. He knows far more about hockey than I do, so he genuinely had the appreciation. Oh yeah, the fifty auto book, Tyler and Jose. Uh, that I don't know what what the the person ended up selling it for, if if it's been sold. There's Bo Phillip, refractor auto at four ninety nine. That'll be for uh, John McCall. That's the guy who got the Conor McDavid, and the and we met him today too. Really nice. Um, nice to meet you, John. Whenever you're watching this video, he has the Braves in this one. And yeah, um, as a. Uh, as Michael Blunt was saying, um, thought Jason was gonna pass out. Yeah, I saw the. Well, I was. I, yeah, I was. I was. I was sick, and so I wasn't watching the stream. I was just asleep. I was passed out, and I woke up in the morning, thankfully feeling better, and I had, and I had gone onto our social media when I woke up after making some tea and everything, and I was just like, wait a second. Is that really a Connor McDavid? But uh, well, Rebel, I would say yes, but I think I think our chat is set to just automatically block links from being dropped. Um, maybe like copy and paste the title so we can just search that in our on our YouTube page. Maybe you can quickly find it then. Fifty nine out of ninety nine, Albert Breu. Yeah, Kevin, hundred hundred K is a life changer. I I, I mean. I don't think any of us, I think we were all too polite to ask him what he was going to do with the money. Um, I don't know. He has a son, I think, who just graduated college. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Well, you, know, you just invest that. Put it into, put some of it, put a chunk of it into savings or something like that. You know, pass it down to the kid or make a little trust fund for future grandkids or something like that. You know. So, so he's a grown-up, Kevin. The grown-up wanted. So it's, so if it was you and I, I don't know. I don't know if you're a grown-up or not. Um, if it was me, I'd be like, yeah, let's buy, let's buy cars and chains, right? <laughs> um, no, but, but still, I mean, it's a lot. Dre Jameson, mm, Jameson. I have some Jameson. No, I'm not going to have Jameson tonight, folks. You know why? Because I, I'm trying Telemore Dew. Different Irish whiskey. It was on sale. Jameson was not. Ah, okay. You're a grown up, Kevin. Yeah, it's still life changing money, though. It's just life changing in a different way. For kids, they're, they're like, for kids, they're just like, yeah, let's buy, let's buy cars and gold chains, right? And buy some nice wheels. <laughs> Grown-ups, grown-ups are gonna be like, well, it's a good investment. It's put into property, you know, pay off, pay off the house, pay off some cars, you know, pay off the family car, all that sort of thing. All right, well, let's do a quick autograph recap. Not. 
to, as EA is sort of suggesting, not the biggest names in here, I would say. Some solid stuff, but a five out of five was cool. Will Wilson might, might have been the highest draft pick, I think, out, out of all of the stuff that we pulled, but um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. We're trying. I think Shea Lang Langliers is 10th overall. He might have been the highest Highest pick there, but some nice color, some nice speckles, some nice hits. Hey, autographs in people's hands who got autographs, so we appreciate everybody getting in. We'll, be, we'll have more Jumbo to do tomorrow, so come and check us out. This is Joe. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.